Well, look at the sun coming out here at GC Expo 2024, Area X.O, which is this incredible space. And here I am with Divi. Hey, good to see you again. Good to see you again. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm doing great, thank you. Area X mm -hmm. really has a lot to contribute to when we're talking about innovation and V2V applications and, and uh, development. V2V, vehicle to vehicle. vehicle. That's when vehicles talk to one another. Mm -hmm. We're all, it's all part of this smart city environment that we're talking about here mm -hmm. and here we are in front of the car why don't we talk about this car here which is not just an ordinary car at all there is <laughs> it is uh, nothing but uh, extraordinary um, i think uh, what we have been able to do is uh, provide companies an environment where they can integrate sensor technologies and different things that they're working on and advance the commercialization uh, you know for their for their products and for their services okay. this vehicle platform uh, you pick up out of a dealership you yeah. add additional sensors on top and make it completely autonomous um, from v2v perspective we have integrated additional sensors inside the vehicle platform okay. which will allow it to talk to other vehicles on the road say hey I'm here you're over there. Uh, providing, exchanging information. That's right. What do you have here that you've added to this? It's a regular vehicle that you can buy off a lot yes. and then you take it and then you soup it up, if you will. Yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so more recently, we have added some additional sensors, uh, okay. both inside the cabin as well as outside the vehicle. Okay. Uh, one example that comes to mind is this is a you know air quality sensing and you have the similar sensor inside the cabin. So if the, let's say the CO2 levels of the vehicle go up, you can automatically activate the HVAC system inside the, inside the cabin. Uh, so okay. thinking for a low speed automated shuttle, which is run, running completely autonomous, the air quality inside the vehicle is important. So that's one example. In terms of V2V communication, you can also relay some of the vehicle specific data to other vehicles nearby. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, from a safety perspective, think of a forward collision warning, right? Yeah. So if, if a vehicle in front of me is applying the brakes really hard, if I'm behind that vehicle, I would like to know it ad in advance. And in a connected and autonomous vehicle, it becomes even more important. Mm. So how do we provide that real-time situational awareness for everybody who's around the vehicle? Uh, tell me about uh, the, the amount of time that it's taking, like, you know, in terms of uh, hours and months, if you will, as you develop the V2V technology and research. I mean, it must be just, it must be fascinating, <laughs> but it must be, take time as well. Yes, yes. And I think uh, what we are learning is um, there's a real need for standardization and and, and uh, more in terms of regulatory oversight of how these systems should be commercialized right and and we are seeing where the improvements can happen yeah. it's almost like we are building layer by layer yeah. and and advancing the maturity level of these technologies mm -hmm. in the previous round we did infrastructure to vehicle communication now we have graduated to vehicle to vehicle communication yeah. and the uh, the hope is that to advance autonomous solutions, how do we provide it the right data sets so that it can make the right decision at the right time? Okay, and there's a lot of information, a lot of data that goes into this and yes, that, yes. And, and I can see it here. I see them, the screen there with information just coming in, streaming in there, That's which right. is amazing right. and how the, the, the information is taken and then, and then turned around to keep the the vehicle and the and the occupant safe and as safe well on the road, yes. fantastic so uh, just to that example uh, you know signal phase and timing from an intersection you know how many seconds left before it goes from green to red if if the vehicle knows that in advance it can plan its route accordingly whether it needs to you know apply the brakes how hard it needs to apply the brakes um, if it can perform any traffic rerouting you know if needed um, I think there, there are many, um, you know, sort of uh, optimization opportunities, right? And uh, what we are learning from City as well is they would like to also get these data feeds in a standardized fashion. So we are connecting multiple stakeholders. Divi, if you could say maybe in a word or a sentence, the advancements that uh, that Area X.O has been making so far in V2V, how are you feeling about the advancements? I'm feeling very optimistic and, and confident. Um, what we have been able to accomplish is... Um, you know, create a very multimodal environment where we are able to address uh, both, uh, well, the vulnerable road users, that's the primary objective to save, uh, to keep people safe on the, on the roads. So the vulnerable road users, vehicles, as well as the traffic infrastructure 
owners and operators. In this case, those are the municipalities and the cities, right? So uh, engaging dif different stakeholder groups and bringing use cases to life, I think that's our biggest accomplishment and we take pride in that. It's been wonderful talking to you again. Divi with Area X.O, lots of advancements happening here. Thank you again. Thank you so much. Have a good day.